we are asked to solve the given equation. This equation is considered to be in quadratic form because we can perform a substitution and rewrite this as a simpler quadratic equation. I do want to point out that we could clear the parentheses from the equation, combine like terms, set the equation equal to zero and solve, but let's try solving this using a substitution. Notice how we have one factor of p plus two here, and we have two factors of p plus two here because we have the quantity p plus two squared. So notice how if we let u equal the quantity p plus two and rewrite the equation in terms of u, the quantity p plus two squared would be u squared. So we'd have u squared equals five plus four times the quantity p plus two would just be four u. Notice how this simplifies the equation. Let's set this equation equal to zero and factor. To set the right side equal to zero, we subtract five on both sides and also subtract four u on both sides, which would give us u squared minus four u minus five equals zero. And now let's factor the left side. U squared is equal to u times u. The terms in the second positions will be the factors of negative five that add to negative four, because negative five times positive one is equal to negative five, and negative five plus one is equal to negative four. The factors we need are negative five and positive one, which means one binomial factor is u minus five, and the other is u plus one. Now that we have it factored in terms of u, we will now perform another substitution and substitute p plus two for u. Performing the substitution here, we have the quantity p plus two minus five, and for the second binomial, we have the quantity p plus two plus one. Remember our goal here is to solve the equation in terms of p, not u. And now let's simplify the two binomials. p plus two minus five simplifies to p minus three, and p plus two plus one simplifies to p plus three. And now to find the solutions, the product on the left is equal to zero when p minus three is equal to zero, or when p plus three is equal to zero. Solving for p, we add three to both sides here, giving us p equals three. Solving for p here, we subtract three on both sides, giving us p equals negative three. So we have two solutions to the original equation in terms of p. We have p equals three, or p equals negative three. So notice how by performing the substitution, we were able to simplify the equation, factor, and then perform another substitution to write the equation back in terms of p, which allowed us to solve the equation without having to clear the parentheses, combine like terms, set the equation equal to zero, and solve. Let's verify these two solutions actually do satisfy the original equation. And now that I've already done the work, using the original equation, we first check p equals negative three by substituting negative three for p here, and notice after simplifying, we do get one equals one, which is true. Verifying p equals negative three is a solution. On the right, we have p equals three. Here's the substitution. Simplifying, we get 25 equals 25, which is also true. Verifying both solutions do work. The two solutions are p equals negative three or p equals three. I hope you found this helpful.